Hi, and welcome to WP Engine Builders. I'm Brian Gardner, developer advocate with WP Engine, and today I'm excited to share two features that are new to WordPress 6.1, fluid spacing and fluid typography. These will help builders create websites that are optimized for the web and embrace the best of mobile responsiveness. Here we go. Okay, so we're gonna use the Frost WordPress theme, which is a full site editing theme that we've developed for WP Engine. It is an experimental theme ready for 6.11 and showcases the latest and greatest things that WordPress has. As you can see here, we're looking at the Frost featured box pattern, and this is a good example of what fluid spacing can do. I'm gonna jump into the theme JSON file and show you how exactly I registered the spacing steps. Okay, so here's the theme JSON file for Frost. And as you can see in the spacing section up here, we've got uh, spacing sizes that are registering five sizes using the t-shirt method. We've got extra small, small, medium, large, and extra large. And each one has its own value for the size in which that step is. The sm uh, extra small step is 20 pixels, which is a hard number. And then as you can see between small and extra large, we're using the clamp method to sort of define a range of uh, pixel sizes that we want the spacing to reduce from and to. As you can see, the small, for example, has a clamp of 20 pixels to 40 pixels, which means at most make the spacing 40 pixels, at the least 20 pixels. And as the viewport reduces in size, the fluidity kicks in and you can start to see that in action. I'm gonna jump back over to the front end and show you exactly how this works. Okay, so you can see this particular pattern has about 100 pixel padding up here and down here, and inside the boxes, there's 60 pixels of padding. Going back into the back end, you can see, I'm gonna select this group, and over here on the right-hand side are the dimensions for padding, and you can see that there's a toggle here. This toggle is basically the step scale that we've established in Theme JSON. Watch the padding in the top of that group as I slide this up and down you can see how easy this is to do. Now inside the boxes as well uses a little bit smaller padding, the medium size, which is 60 pixels on desktop, and you can adjust this as you wish. Now going back to the front end, I'm gonna now reduce the screen size. So pay attention to the spacing that's inside of that particular element and then also inside of each box. As I reduce the screen, you can see proportionally this spacing starts to degrade fluidly. This is the fluid part of it. Now, if we were not using fluid spacing, that 100 pixels would stay 100 pixels each time I reduce the screen size. And on mobile phones, that might just be too much. So this is where the mobile responsiveness really is optimized. Okay, in a real world website, this might be an example of why this spacing matters. You can see here, I've got another group that's leveraging the extra large padding. So once again, we're using 100 pixels padding. So on desktop, we sort of get this visualness of the spacing up here, here in between the text and also down here. Now on a mobile device, this really might be a little bit too much spacing. And so watch the spacing in between each of those elements reduce fluidly as I reduce the screen. That is a much better experience. Now, if you want to, for whatever reason, use a hard number that is also possible you go into where the step is, you hit that toggle, and you could just type 100 pixels and watch what happens. So that 100 pixels stays, and there might be some cases in which you really want that to happen. So the ability to use and determine either of the two is really good. Next up, fluid typography. Once again, we're gonna use Frost to showcase what this is. Fluid typography is the adaptation of font sizes with changes in viewport width. What this means is that as a result, fonts can smoothly scale between a minimum and maximum size, creating uniformity and an optimal communication. So keep an eye on the larger font sizes here, uh, mainly 36 to 72 as I reduce the screen. As the viewport reduces in size, those fonts will start to fluidly reduce themselves so that they scale better on the screen that's being used. This is important on mobile devices because 72 pixels is gonna be very, very big. I'm gonna jump into theme JSON here in a second to show you exactly how to register these fluid typography. Okay, we're in the theme JSON file for Frost, and as you can see, there's a few things we'll have to do. 
inside the typography setting, we need to define fluid to be true. This will trigger the function that's built into WordPress to leverage fluid typography. Now we need to define the font sizes. You can see here that you have the ability to turn off fluid for certain font sizes. With 16 pixels, we don't really need to shrink that down any, so we just leave that as false. Going back down into the larger sizes, you can see here I'll highlight, uh, especially from 36 to 72, the larger sizes, uh, each one has a minimum and maximum value set for the fluidness. You can see here on 36, this goes from 30 to 36. On larger font sizes, like 72 pixels, it will go down to 48. You can increase or decrease that as you wish. Now you might wonder why this is important. Keep an eye on the welcome text here on this example. Look how big this is, and it looks great on screen, but as I reduce the screen, watch what happens to the text. You can see it starts to reduce in size and scale according to the viewport. That's a much better experience for a mobile device. Can you imagine 72 pixels on a phone? Probably not. There's a whole lot to love about WordPress. Fluid spacing and fluid typography are just two features that allow builders to create responsive websites that optimally perform. We're so excited about what we're doing here at WP Engine Builders and our developer relations team and look forward to teaching you more. If you're looking to explore the basics of creating powerful WordPress websites, we invite you to check out our builders resource at wpengine.com builders. Additionally, if you want to learn more about Frost, check it out at frostwp.com. Thanks again for watching and have a great day.